Hi everyone, this is Pratish, founder of Proxlite, and in today's video, we will be converting our website into a fully fledged and functioning native application. Yes, there are few problems with me regarding the web browser that whenever I have to open a website or my web app, I have to reopen the browser again and again and open it with a new tab. So to solve this problem, we have to create a native application. So let's dive right into our computer screen. All right, so before we begin, I want to show you our website. So you can visit our hash note page where you will get all the tutorials and articles on that particular tutorials. You can even get the source code over there. So for this tutorial, we need some things. So let's start off by the requirements. So to create the native application, we will be using a command line tool, Nativifier, which is used to create native application out of website. So you can get the link from the description down below. Here we are in the GitHub page and let me show you. So here you can see we have the GitHub page over here. You can read this whole article and it is quite helpful. I have seen it. So now the first requirement is node.js. Now you have to install this particular thing on your system. So I'm going to be opening the website. As you can see here we are inside the node.js website so you have to just download it for your current edition for your windows or for mac linux anything so you have to just click on over here to download this particular software on your system so once the node.js is installed on your system the next step is to install nativifier on your system so how can we do it is we will be using npm command line so let me show you over here so here here is the command as you can see over here just copy this one and paste it on your terminal so here i'm inside my terminal and let me just paste this thing over here so it is just npm install g nativifier so it is quite simple then hit enter to install this particular thing it might take some time so wait for it so once you have downloaded it now it's time to convert our applications. So let's just start it. So first of all, we will be converting our website and then we will be checking an web app. So let's start by the converting our website into a native application. As you can see here, we have a simple command how to convert the medium.com into a native application. So let's just check that out. So you can copy this over from here and then paste it on your terminal. So let's uh, click on enter and it will take some time to convert your website. First of all, it will fetch the data from the server. So make sure that you are connected to the internet. A few moments later. So here you can see we got a message that we have created the application. Now let's just dive right into the application. Let's see how it works. As you can see here, we have a folder created under the users and then Dell. Now let me just open it up. All right, so as you can see here, we have different files. Now this is the application file. As you can see, it also does the icon. So you don't have to worry about the icon and give it another icon and things like that. So it automatically received the icon and then retrieve that from the server and then attach it to the application. So it's quite easy and handy. Now let's open it up. One eternity later. So finally, after so much time, it has completely loaded right now and as you can see the application is fully functional you can just click on over here to start reading even though you can maximize it it is a uh, purely interactive so you can go over to here to create your story and check out the story so everything looks fine and uh, great it works so now it's time to create a application out of a web app so let me just try it so we can use some web app like uh, whatsapp so let's take this example and we will be trying to create a native application of WhatsApp on our desktop. So as you can see, they have already given the example of WhatsApp. So I'm going to be just copying it from over here and let's paste it on our terminal. All right. So once it is done, hit enter on your keyboard so that it can start creating the web app. So it has started creating the application. It might take some time. So we have to again wait for some times. A few moments later. So as you can see, it is done. Now let's uh, see where the file has been housed. So as you can see over here, we have the application and you can open this folder and run the WhatsApp on your 
system right now so we have created native application out of the website and web apps so this is the easiest technique you can follow to create native application i hope this tutorial was really helpful and if it was helpful then consider subscribing hit that like button below i will meet you in another tutorial until then stay creative